Hi everyone, welcome to another quick adventure creator tutorial slash unity tutorial this time. Uh, I'm Perlandell, the creator of Shield of Silence. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a way how you can play sounds in a better way than using the built-in action list commands within Adventure Creator. Because one thing that always bugged me about Adventure Creator was when animating stuff for my game, there was no good way of playing sounds within an animation. I guess, yeah, you can use the timeline tools, but sometimes you just want an easier way out. This also bugged Jeremy, one of the regulars at the Point and Click Devlog YouTube series Discord and the creator of the upcoming adventure game, uh, adventure game Dexter Stardust. You can check out the link below in the description for a link to the Devlog YouTube series and Jeremy's game. Don't miss it, it looks fantastic. So what Jeremy did was he created a neat little script that was later refined by Weenie Walker Games. Uh, another regular at the point and click devlog and the result you can see on screen right now. So what does the script do? Well, this neat little script allows you to add animation events that trigger sounds of your choosing at your choosing. You can find a download link to the script below in the description or better yet, you join us at the point and click devlog discord link also found below. Let's get to it. So here I have the opening scene of uh, my game Shield of Silence. I'm going to show you how the opening scene looks like without sound. So as you can see, we have a protagonist that jumps through the window. So if I were to uh, add sound to this, within the Adventure Creator Toolkit, I would either use the Timeline Tools or I would try to time it up using some kind of sound editing software and play the sound uh, from start to finish. So in this case, I want three sounds to play. The glass breaking when she jumps through, the player going ouch or hia when she jumps through the window and ouch when she lands. Uh, one way I would also be able to do this was to try and time this within an action list to add an engine wait, maybe one second, play the first sound, then I wait for a couple of seconds, play the second, and then the third, which is very tricky and very, very labor intensive ways of achieving something. Instead, I'm going to show you how to use Jamie's and Weenie's script. So. I have my jumping animation here. It's called Honey Jump Window. It's a sprite and that plays, let's just place this animation here. It's nothing fancy. On this, I've added an audio source, which is needed for this to work. And also I will add uh, the custom script called play sound from list. Here I need to select what audio source I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. I need to decide on how many sounds I want to be playing in uh, within all of my animations connected to the sprite. In this case, I only have the one animation with three sounds that I want to play. So I'll type three. I've already added my sounds to my project folder. So now I can add them here. The first sound that's going to be playing is the glass breaking, glass crash. It doesn't matter which order I add these, but I'm doing it in the right order now, just to show you. The next sound is going to be the yeah sound playing. It's with this one here. And the next, the third and last one is going to be when she hits the ground. It's called hit zero one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. That one. So how do I go about playing these sounds? So it's so easy. It's almost crazy. So I have my uh, my animation here. I can play it back and forth. So I find a spot where she, there she goes right through the window. That looks good. So I want the glass sound to play here. I just click this button, add event. I select what function. And now I have the play clip at integer function. One thing to keep in mind here is that this uses, uses integers. They start at zero. So I have three sounds which means that the first sound is zero. So the first sound I'm going to play is sound number zero. Then I move my sound forward, maybe just a teeny weeny bit here. I add another event, select play clip 
at integer, the next sound I'm going to play is number one. That's the second sound in the row. And I want to play a sound when she hits her head as well. There we go. There, that's fine. I add another event, the third and last one. Play clip at integer, the third sound, zero, one, two. That's the third. Now I've added all my sounds to my animation. So let's see what happens if I hit play. How cool is that? It works perfectly. You can also, instead of selecting these, because as you noticed, I added these in order. You can use the function play next clip instead. Then you can just jump to the next one in a row. There are many, uh, many different ways you can use that for a good, uh, a cool thing. You can also use it to play random clips, maybe some kind of footsteps. You have uh, I mean, a spider walking around, a dog walking around, whatever you want. Or just a computer console going bleeps and ble doing some bleeps and blobs. You can randomize that. That's it. Have fun, guys.